What's going good everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to showcase my Jackson guitar. I felt it would be appropriate considering how over the past couple weeks I've been uploading uh, videos of myself at Guitar Center playing some of the new soloist models and uh, one of the new Denki models. And uh, so yeah, here is my uh, Jackson soloist. Many people often mistake it as being a Denki, but uh, it is in fact a soloist, as you can tell by the back of the neck. Um, so the main difference between a, a Denki and a soloist, uh, Denki's almost exclusively uh, always pretty much have uh, bolt-on necks, and then soloists are pretty much always um, neck through construction. And this is a Jackson Soloist SLX. So as the X indicates, it's a part of the X series. I got this in 2011, so I guess you can consider this uh, one of the uh, OG models of the uh, series and whatnot. And uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite guitars. And uh, one thing I noticed in playing, uh, in all the years that I've been playing this guitar, and uh, you know, testing out some of the uh, new models um, that are available, uh, was pretty much the neck. So this has one of the thinnest necks I've ever played. And, uh, you know, even, I would say probably even more so than some of the Ibanez guitars that I've uh, played and owned. So that's saying a lot, but a uh, very thin neck. Uh, some of the, uh, um, the couple uh, models that I played, um, you know, in the past weeks, um, uh, I just noticed the neck was a, a bit thicker, uh, ever so slightly. But um, yeah, th this neck is just unreal. Um, it's a basswood body. Um, one of the solos that I played um, had the same material. Uh, and then another one had a uh, poplar. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was poplar. And um, yeah, so uh, there there's another difference. Um, they're kind of experimenting with different tone woods. I'm not... Uh, you know, I don't, uh, I think it's kind of, you know, tone woods as far as electric guitars go, it's kind of neurotic, so, but some people, if you're into that, you know, they think it makes a difference, then uh, teach their own. But, um, yeah, for anyone who cares, it's basswood body. Uh, the pickups are Duncan designed. Um, that's another difference I noticed. Um, I feel like they're putting more of their home, uh, Jackson's putting more of their home-cooked, uh, home-style pickups and whatnot. And, uh, I, I don't really care for them that much. Um, these Duncan designs are honestly not that bad. They're not outstanding, but uh, yeah, they're you know they're they're pretty decent. Um, I believe it's uh, HB uh, one hundred one and one hundred two, or it could be one hundred two and then one hundred three. Uh, I'm not one hundred percent sure anymore, but um, yeah, these Duncan designs are not that bad. I prefer them over the the you know Jackson's. Uh, you know, the their uh, home brand, you know, pickups. And uh, the guitar that I played that did have their um their own uh, pickups in it, um, it I, I should note that they were active, and I'm not really fond of active pickups. So, you know, um, they could have stuck EMGs in there, and I still wouldn't have been that thrilled with the sound. Um, but, uh, yeah, Duncan Design, um, I have no problem with them. I'm going to... I, I do plan on eventually, like, uh, swap, after all these years, finally swapping out with some, uh, uh, bare knuckles, um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, moving right along, this is a Floyd Rose special, um, I've never really had any serious issues with this, uh, system, um, as far as action or, you know, tuning or intonation goes, um, can, the Floyd is a little sticky at times, but, um, doesn't really make that big of a difference since I'm not really a big uh, user or abuser um, of, uh, of the tremolo. Um, the only time I really use it um, is uh, when I do, uh, you know, when I'm covering you know, Slayer or, you know, Morbid Angel type stuff. But um, yeah, the Floyd Rose special, um, unironically, is uh, nothing special as far as Floyd's go. But, uh, you know, I never really had any serious problems, so yeah. Um, uh, volume and tone controls, uh, three way uh, switching system, 24 frets. Uh, I think it's medium jumbo frets. 
Um, but yeah, 24 frets, uh, shark fin inlays. I almost said shark tooth. Um, still in Ibanez mode, but um, yeah, shark fin inlays, rosewood fretboard. Some of them are dyed ebony, as you can see. And uh, yeah, moving right along, let's flip it over to the back. Um, these are uh, Jackson tuners, as you'll find out in a minute. And uh, yep, so there we go. Jackson tuners and uh let's all take a moment to just admire the beauty of this neck beauty of this backside and let's all admire that awesome engine of whatever car or motorcycle that is beautiful but uh yeah that's pretty much it um Thanks as always, you know, appreciate y'all swinging by and, you know, giving us a peep. So, till next time, keep shredding, take it easy, take care.